Hello my friends, come to stroll with me in the street of Madrid, which has a name of a remarkable lady, writer and poet, who is nowadays very forgotten. Concha Espina Street is in Madrid Chamartín district. It goes perpendicular to the Paseo de la Castellana and starts at the famous Real Madrid Stadium, which restoration is nearing completion. This stadium was built in 1947 when there were no buildings around and neither existed yet the Concha Espina Street. We live behind the Real Madrid Stadium. On the even numbers of Concha Espina, there are residential buildings. Built at the time when a new bourgeoisie chose to live in Chamartín. Car dealerships one beside the other, also less than before. In April 2022, the car industry is in the doldrums. Starting at number 7, there are a few housing units that were built a short time after the stadium. They contrast with the luxurious residential apartments that stand out up the street. The San Rafael is the prestigious hospital of the Order of San Juan de Dios. The extension of San Rafael Hospital at 32 Concha Espina Street has ruined the German school, which building was a model of contemporary architecture, especially this reinforced concrete stained glass window. The German fast restaurant and its government store have been orphaned now that the German school has moved out to the outskirts of Madrid. And the neighbors of these exclusive apartments will suffer instead of the children's hula balo at the end of the school day, the coming and going of the patients of the brand new hospital. Quite a relief after four years of endearing the dust and noise of the bulldozers. Concha Espina was a female writer from the illustrious literary generations of 1898, who at the age of 19 published her first poems. Some critics blame her for coming from the wealthy ruling classes, as if her wealthy status would disqualify her from writing verses like I am a woman, I was born a poet, and as a coat of arms they gave me the sweetest painful burden of an immense heart. Victim of an era that belittled intellectual women, Concha Espina imbued her poetry and beautiful prose with postulates of equal rights for women and social improvements for the underprivileged. After a few sacrificed beginnings, in the end, her vast literary production earned her a well-to-do economical situation and a status of cult writer in several countries. Probably because of her defense of Catholicism and Franco's dictatorship, her figure and work has been buried in oblivion. See you soon with a new video about a nice street in Madrid. Take care. Bye-bye.